In this video, I am reviewing the Surface Book 3 for Business 2-in-1 Laptop Tablet. I will review the features, the camera, security package, components, connectivity, list the pros and cons, and I will render my overall rating and review of this 2-in-1 Laptop Tablet. Hi, my name is Roderick and welcome to this channel, Seek Right Tech Reviews. I will be your host narrating this video. Seek Right Tech Reviews provides consumers like yourself with tech product knowledge and consumer education on future, trending, and current state-of-the-art technology. If you're looking for an unbiased examination and review of any tech item that can help you decide what to and what not to spend your money on, then this is the place for you. If you are new to the channel, then sit back and enjoy the video. I will talk again to you at the end of this video. If you are visiting us again and haven't joined the SRT community, take a moment, click the like button to help the channel reach more viewers. Click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you are notified when a new video is posted. I post new videos on Saturdays. For openers, this video will review the Surface Book 3's business 3.5 inch version of the laptop tablet computer. It comes in a couple of configuration options. I will highlight these options as they arise going through this video. Now the 13.5 inch Surface Book 3 has two dimension configurations. First, if you elect to purchase the 13.5 inch laptop with the Intel 10th generation quad core i5 processor, the dimensions for this unit is it's 12.3 inches long by 9.14 inches wide by 0.51 inches high. It is 0.9 inches thick and it weighs 3.38 pounds including the keyboard. Second, if you elect to purchase this same 13.5 inch laptop but with the Intel 10th generation quad core i7 processor then the dimensions for this unit is 12.3 inches long by 9.14 inches wide by 0.5 inches high. It is 0 0.90 inches thick and weighs 3.62 pounds including the keyboard. The display is the same for both processor versions. The screen is a detachable 13.5 inch pixel sense display full high definition with a 3000 by 2000 pixel sense resolution measuring a 267 pixel per inch color depth, a 3 by 2 aspect ratio, 1600 to 1 contrast ratio, and a 10 point multi-touch G5 screen. This means the 10 point multi-touch screen has the ability to recognize and respond to 10 simultaneous points of contact. The G5 relates to the grade of touch sensitivity. The exterior casing is a magnesium composite material in a platinum color with the physical external buttons being both the power and the volume buttons. The camera package is standard for both processor versions and set up this way. The front facing camera is 5 megapixels with 1080p high definition video and it includes the infrared sensor that operates the Windows Hello Face Recognition technology. The rear facing camera is 8 megapixels, audio focus with 1080p high definition video. You can get to work quickly by simply opening the lid, which enacts the instant on feature to wake up your screen and the Windows Hello Face Recognition technology via the front facing camera gets you in with a single glance. The dual far field studio microphones are located in the top of the lid. The Surface Book 3 keyboard has a standard layout and includes backlight keys, special shortcut keys, and function keys to help you do many common tasks fast. You can type and gesture comfortably and competently with a full keyboard experience and the precise glass trackpad. When in tablet mode, there's a built-in on-screen keyboard you can access and use. There's no numeric keypad on the keyboard. 
The battery life is reported to be up to 15 and a half hours of typical device use. The power supply and USB-A charging port depends on your selection of choice for your CPU. This is another one of those configuration options. Here's the first one. If you select the i5 Intel CPU, you'll get the 65 watt surface power supply with the USB-A 5 watt charging port. Second, if you select the i7 Intel CPU, you get the 102 watt surface power supply with the USB-A 7 watt charging port. The security bundle for the Surface Book 3 is 1. TPM, Trusted Platform Module 2.0 chip for enterprise security. This is a dedicated microcontroller design to secure the hardware of the laptop through integrated cryptographic keys. 2. Enterprise grade protection with Windows Hello Face Recognition sign in. And 3. Windows Enhanced Hardware Security. The components for the Surface Book 3 are 1. The installed operating system is the Windows 10 Pro version that is upgradable to Windows 11 when the official update is released. 2. The central processing unit, or CPU, that powers this laptop is your choice. Either A. Intel's 10th generation quad-core i5-1035G7 processor, or B. Intel's 10th generation quad-core i7 1065G7 processor. 3. The RAM memory is your choice of either 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, or 32 gigabytes of RAM. 3733 megahertz LP DDR4X chip. 4. The internal storage choices include 256 gigabytes hard drive, 512 gigabytes hard drive, or a 1 terabyte PCIe solid state drive or SSD. 5. The graphic processing unit or GPU for the Surface Book 3 breaks down this way. If you choose to purchase the Book 3 laptop unit with the i5 Intel processor, then your GPU will be the Intel Iris Plus graphics. If you purchase your Book 3 laptop with the i7 Intel processor, then your GPU will be the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 with Max-Q design with 48 gigabytes of GDDR5 graphics memory. Six, the audio sound system features a pair of front-facing stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos. Connectivity for the Surface Book 3 is as follows. 1. Wi-Fi 6, 802.11 AX. 2. Bluetooth Wireless 5.0. 3. 2 USB-A version 3.1 generation 2 ports. 4. 1 USB-C version 3.1 generation 2 with USB power delivery revision 3.0 port. 5. A 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. 6. Two Surface Connect ports, one on the keyboard base and one on the tablet. 7. Full size SDXC card reader port. 8. Compatible with the Surface dial on and office screen interaction. Note the Surface dial enables your second hand to transition seamlessly through tasks with a visible radio menu of intuitive shortcuts. You can customize easy access to shortcuts, controls, drawing tools, and more. The Surface Dial is sold separately. Sensors within the Surface Book 3 is ambient light sensor, proximity sensor, the accelerometer, gyroscope, and the magnetometer. The warranty is a one-year limited hardware warranty. The pros for the Surface Book 3 are as follows. 1. Outstanding display, pixel resolution, and PPI color density. 2. Excellent security and connectivity packages. 3. Very good battery life. 4. 
excellent versatility in software to niche performance and productivity. Like if you're creative, you can use and operate Adobe Creative Cloud with ease. Or if you're an architect or engineer, you can use and operate Autodesk, AutoCAD, Revit, and Dassault SolidWorks. If you're a developer, you can code faster with Microsoft Visual Studio. Five, very good configuration options allowing a buyer to tailor the laptop to their needs and budget. The cons are, one, the surface pin, slim pin, mouse, and dial are all sold separately. Two, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 graphic processing unit is only available when the buyer configures their laptop with the i7 Intel processor. Three, there's no separate numeric pad. I give the Surface Book 3 an overall rating of A for these reasons. One, this is a high quality device. The price range is from $1,699.99, the minimum configured device, to $2,799.99, the top end configured device for this screen size of 13.5 inches. Two, because this is a two-in-one device, there's no need for another PC or laptop unless the user so chooses to purchase another one for another purpose. Three, I love the versatility by which the buyer can configure their laptop to suit and satisfy their needs, be it personal, business, recreational, or otherwise. Four, four I love the fact that this laptop can perform a myriad of productive tasks, be configured to desired satisfaction, satisfy a variety of business niches workload, serve as the principal and primary work tool, be it in the office, at home, or on the go. And finally, number five, if you're looking for performance, reliability, and dependability, and can afford this price tag, and you are more comfortable with the Microsoft ecosystem as opposed to Chromebooks and the Google OS ecosystem, then this is the business device for you. If you found this video helpful, informative, and it provided you with effective, useful content, please click that like button, click that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell and join the SRT family. I post new videos on Saturdays. If you want to see more videos like this one, leave me a comment below. Leave me a comment and share your thoughts about this video. Check out the links below in the description box. Watch this video next and check out this playlist. Until next time, I'm Roderick, your host and narrator, and this is Seek Right Tech Reviews.